So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It has finally quit raining, at least for now. Although the next couple days look really, really nice and I'm pretty excited about that. And even next week, you know, they are calling for a little bit of rain here and there, but nothing like we've had over the last 10 days. Now I'm not positive about this, but I'm pretty sure it has rained every day for the last 10 days at least one time. And some of those days it rained, you know, six or seven times. So things are really saturated around here. But I do have a lot of stuff I want to kind of get started on this evening, kind of get ready for the weekend. We've got to get ready for the big party two weeks from tomorrow. And I mean, we have a lot of stuff to do. I started off pressure washing up near the house. Now we have well water, so you can kind of only run that thing for maybe 45 minutes or an hour at the max. Then I let things settle down for a little bit, let the well refill, and then I'll go back at it again. Our well here, I think, is about 300 feet deep, something like that. And this whole ridge where we live, everybody's kind of in the same situation. So let's see, I got some pressure washing done. I'll revisit that in a little bit. Came down here, cleaned up a few logs, a little bit of brush hogging. I think next up, it'd probably be easier to tell you what I'm not going to do. And what I'm not going to do is go sit in a house on a night this nice. So next up, I think I'm going to move the rest of these logs right here. I'm going to move them down there where those big ones are. Uh, I talked about that in last night's video, why I'm doing that. Uh, but boy, these things were massive. This one on the end right here, that's a beautiful red oak right there. 12 feet, 6 inches long. This end here, I think, is around 40 inches, something like that. But anyway, I'm going to move the rest of these saw logs down here. And then I think, you know, I just want to clean this area up right here. And then I'm going to take a few limbs off this uh, maple tree right here. They're kind of in the way for the... Uh, firework viewing area I guess you could say I saved that tree when I moved all this dirt down here that was I don't know how many years ago I did this but this was all woods down in here and I needed a spot to kind of work so I leveled this all up just with a skid loader cut a bunch of trees out of here but I saved this maple right here I kind of liked it but yeah I think I'll bring the pole saw down here trim some of these up maybe get a fire going we'll see we'll get into something else
Every time I set a brush pile on fire in a video, I get at least a dozen comments, sometimes more. You're going to catch your woods on fire. No, I'm not. Not going to happen. Basically impossible this time of year, especially after 10 days of rain. But everything is so green right now, holding so much moisture, it's almost impossible. It is impossible to catch these woods on fire. I'm going to say it right there. It would be impossible to catch these woods on fire. I think what happens is a lot of people from the west think things here in the east are the same way. Two totally different circumstances. Out there, you look at something wrong, it can burst into flames. Around here, mm -mm, ain't gonna happen. Matter of fact, that fire already went out. I can't even get it going. I also get a lot of angry people saying that I'm polluting when I burn a brush pile. What you see coming off of that pile is mostly steam, first of all. And secondly, yes, there is CO2. It's the same CO2 that all that biomass sucked in when it was growing. So it's basically carbon neutral, the way I see it. Anyway, back to work. Several people have uh, recently asked what trimmer I use. It's a Steel FS91R. I like it a lot. It's really torquey. Runs really well. And the reason I didn't brush hog this, there's a bunch of big chunks of wood in there. Plus, I wanted to get real close to the wood pile there. That's why. A, a little bit of mud not too bad what I'll do tomorrow or Sunday it'll be nice and dry it's not gonna rain I'm just gonna seed all this right here this whole area down here overseed it back drag it a little bit and there'll be grass in about a week
so that was a pretty good evening i did kind of mud things up a little bit here but like i said i'll uh wait till tomorrow afternoon should dry up real nice throw some seed on this back drag it it'll be good to go i got my log pile moved got all this stuff kind of cleaned up trimmed that up i think i'm going to head up and do a little bit more pressure washing uh, before it gets dark so that was a pretty good evening i hope the weather forecast kind of stays uh, with what they're saying uh, but anyway like i always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks